All right. As promised, we promised we would do a live video on our Thailand stuff. And Pierce is over here. Hi. She is. Uh, I have some Lefisius sp ornatus that I am this. getting out from these little containers and into these much nicer ones. Yep, yep. And we see that they don't climb uh, mm -mm. smooth surfaces very well, which makes them a little bit. Come here. Come here. Oh, Come here. Come here. Got it. So pretty though. We've been having right. they were going in so nicely earlier. There we uh -huh. go. There we go. Okay. Leah! What happened? You know. look like I, you got crapped I on. Woke, I woke up and oh. I'm just there. What the heck? Leah and <laughs> Janet are are po are packing your guys' orders for this week. Check them out. They're still here packing orders, and Evan went home sick today. <laughs> it's so but sad. <laughs> but they are busy getting everything packed up. And poor Buffer. Buffer had eight teeth removed last week, and he'll be 15 this week. Hello, baby. You say hi to everybody. Poor little baby's not feeling quite himself. <gasps> oh, look who's here! Oh my gosh! It's the legend! What does it say on the back? It says the legend, doesn't it? Is this live? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I did tell you we were going to do this. Yeah. And Isaac. Did you enjoy your brownie, Isaac? Did Frank get you a brownie? Shane. Yeah. Shane. Hello, Emma. Hello, Tanya. Yes, it is a little cluttered in here, and oh, it's yeah. because we got so many cool things from um, Thailand. Look at, we've got, oh my gosh. Always cleaned up at the end of the day. Oh, you see? The end of the day. <laughs> We're clean. We're clean people. <laughs> All right, let's see what's going on in here. What's going on in here? <laughs> <laughs> Say hi to your mom. Hi, mom. <laughs> <laughs> Smells like popcorn in here. Woo! Hey, Sean. Oh, hey, Sean. Sean, are you going to be the Vanna White to to yes, Frank? Frank is going to talk about some of the things that we've got we got in today. Hi, everybody. Okay, Frank so Soma. I'm Woo! I'm here in Tarantulas in Virginia Beach. Hey, be quiet. And um, Tanya's just got a bunch of new species in here. I'm going to speak a little bit about each one of them. Um, Buffer. <laughs> Buffer. Okay, so we we'll start what with What did we get in, Frank? Huh? Oh, yeah. We got in uh, a few species of centipedes, Scolopendra. Are you going to take the lid off so we can get I'm it in? I'm going to take the lid off. Uh -huh. Are you brave enough? Yeah, brave enough. You are. Okay, first, um, the Fear's first species not. we got in is Ooh. a Scolopendra called Scolopendra species white beard. Ooh. It's probably the largest growing species in that, Asia. Yeah. I've heard lengths up to about 11 oh inches. Uh, really nice centipede. Hi, Crystal. The care in all these centipedes is pretty much the same. They need a sufficiently deep substrate in order to burrow into. Maybe a couple pieces of cork bark on top, uh, slight humidity. You could, you know, spray the substrate and a small water dish. Uh, in terms of feeding, you know, large roaches, pinky mice, uh, animal lizards, pretty much anything they can grab onto. They eat mice too. They can like eat mice really too. The large ones, yeah. I mean, it's not really, you know, something you want to feed every week. You could do frozen thought too. We could do frozen or thawed. That's what I would recommend. Uh, yeah. I've seen videos people feed thawed. them like raw chicken. They'll eat raw really? chicken. Even vegetables. Uh, yeah, but that's not really part of it. No, why. no, it's They're not. But you know, this next it. one is a uh, scolopendra uh, called Piscio flava uh, from Sulawesi. Really pretty centipede. Uh, also known as a Sulawesi white amazing. leg. Now these reach about roughly around eight inches. So another fairly good size centipede. Is it there? Yeah. Uh, 
I didn't write that. I don't know. Java. Java, Java Black. Okay, Java Black. Uh, another <laughs> big <close>. centipede. <laughs> These are pretty rare in the United States. There haven't been that many imported in the last few years. We'll see if we can wake her up here. Oh, yeah, she Ooh. woke up. Oh. Yeah, get, uh, Quick reflexes. We'll just let her happy. calm down a little bit here. So this is a Scolopendra species Java Black, and they'll hit about 9 to 10 inches in length, so right up there with the white beard. Really attractive centipede. You know, I always call them the Java Tricolor. You, know, you have the yellow, black, and red legs, jet black body, white antennae. Another nice centipede. I will say with any of these uh, species, you just watch with the bite because centipedes are venomous. We uh, don't recommend handling them. Do not handle them. Okay. Next one, Thailand Red Flame. You should be getting your helper to open these up for you. Helper, See? do you want to help me? Yeah. You know? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, that okay. one's pretty, pretty chill. And yeah, Thailand Red Flame's interesting. You have a red... Uh, the last uh, several sets of legs are red, and the rest are yellow. Ooh, yeah. uh, they reach about seven inches or so. So, a uh, nice size centipede. That is mm -hmm. nice. Okay, what are we doing next? Oh, let's, let's change this. Centipedes go on and on and on. Okay. okay. Yeah, the next one is a Thailand black flame. Now, these, these are Thailand red flames and Thailand black flames. They're probably all Scolopendra dehani, just different locales. The coloration is different on them. There we go, it's a little bit better. This is Scolopendra species Thailand Black Flame, and they have these black, um, you know, ends of the legs, you know, tipping on the legs. And these will get roughly about seven inches, also fairly thick, you know, stocky centipede. Yeah. So, what we got here? This last one. This last one here. Um, Hidden down under this moss here. Let me watch my fingers. Ooh, yeah. Uh, this is a mint leg. These will hit about eight inches. You know, fairly good size centipede. Nice green, bluish green legs. Uh, really pretty centipede, and very uncommon in the United States. Take this little over here. What's going on in here? <laughs> Must be something in the water. See, see what I, I, I warned you. Okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, something yeah. you can handle. This is uh, okay. There's uh, a couple species of vinegaroons like came in. This is red legs. Thailand. Look at how beautiful. Thailand red leg. Now they don't get as large as our North American Mastioproctus. Um, but uh, these here actually can be kept in small groups. They do well together. Uh, and they don't get too large, about mm, about three inches in length. Really pretty vinegaroon. Uh, smell is a little bit different too when they give off their defensive smells. And uh, you know, smell it. Yeah. Mm. Smell my finger. Mm. That's a good version. Let's pull my finger. Yeah, it's a good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Lyphisius Jurogini. Lyphisius yeah. uh, Super cool. are a group of spiders uh, from Southeast Asia up into Thailand, and probably among the most primitive spiders. They're separate from my Gallimorphae and the Ranomorphae. Uh, they're mesotheletes, and they retain segmentation on their abdomen. So, very primitive. What by segmentation? Well, when they, when arachnids, you know, back 350 million years ago, uh -huh. when the scorpions crawled out from the ocean onto land, they had segmentation. Scorpions still retain that, oh. you know, on their abdomen. Oh, I get what you. You look at all the spiders, like uh, the true spiders and the tarantulas and other mm -hmm. species, and they don't have that. But on this here, you'll see, yeah. close up there, you'll see segmentation, segments of the yeah. abdomen. Yeah. So they still retain that. Yeah. And the spinnerets and the book lungs are different. They're kind of primitive. They build a burrow, cap it with a trap door, 
and it sends usually six to seven silk lines from the trap door. And when an insect touches the line, uh, the spider will spring out, and they're incredibly fast. Don't think, you know, you see sitting here that they're slow, because yeah, yeah. Tanya can tell you, you know, she <laughs> bought one, it was like uh, dead. Last, last night, yeah. Last night, last night we I thought said, it no, was dead. and you play possum, and... I touched mm-hmm. it and it took off like a bullet. <laughs> yeah, they, 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 they can fly. Yes, at ten thirty at night. Yep. So, uh, yeah, they cannot climb because they don't have scapula on their tarsi, so they can't climb up smooth surfaces. So if you're doing some, do it in a tall like uh, plastic container. In terms of care, uh, you can set them up in a any type of container that has sufficiently deep substrate. You use a sand, cocoa, or clay mix, you know, pretty much any type of substrate. Pack it down, slightly moisten it, and the spider will dig a burrow after a couple days, cap it with a trap door, and then start spinning its trip lines. Um, yeah, I noticed could, this is relatively deeper than when it's Yeah, to it's, it's deep, and these are just like, yeah. you know, temporary containers. I mean, obviously you well, want to yeah. put it in something larger, like maybe a big square cube. I would slope the substrate from maybe two inches in the front to about eight, nine inches at least in the back, so if it, because uh, in the wild they're found on uh, road banks. And uh, interesting, you can actually make a communal with these too. And what I like to do is, you know, you put the spiders into you know, pre dug out burrows and overnight they'll um, build trap doors. And you can have like three or four of them in a the tank if it's large enough. That's pretty interesting. Yeah, so uh, pretty interesting spiders. Now, you know, a few species came in, like this is Jurgini. And like Fistius ornatus is a pretty one. They get gray and orange femurs, and the rest of the leg is black, and the carapace has these really intricate markings on them. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to touch it because it's going to jet like a little bullet here. So, um, yeah, so definitely a few new species came in here uh, into Fionat. Yep, and, yep. Uh, yeah, is there anything else? <laughs> and you, you've, you've got them. And hardcore and, and Arachnus, hardcore, Tom Patterson yes. has mm-hmm. some. Yep, yep, yep. And of course, we have him here at Fear Not and, too. Yeah. So, and uh, yep. if anybody has any questions, always feel free. You know, PM or you know, send email, email support yeah. at fearnottarantulas.com. <laughs> okay. So. Yes. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah. So, and me are going to get back to uh, setting things up. You know, setting up the rest of the. Animals here. All right. Okay. Yeah, they sound like they're having fun back there still. Yeah. Get yep. them, not having fun. Get them working. Working. Work. work. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for your assistance. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. I'll mm. just ask questions. That's mm-hmm. good for. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So uh, we do have Brazilian blacks. They're on the on the website. We. We have another group coming in that's going to be smaller in a couple of weeks. Um, but here's Morticia. She's a really pretty one that we have on display. Um, Michael liked our Chris our our Valentine's packages. We worked really hard on those. Emma, Emma actually put all of those together. Michael Cox liked his Valentine's oh, packet. Yay. Yeah. See, I told you they would like it. I'm so glad they yeah. Yeah. Uh, and let's see. What else we have? Any oh, blue death feigning beetles? They are going crazy right now. We just lowered some pricing on them. They're on sale right now. They're really cool. Might want to check those out on our site. And let's see. Our roof a lot of some of them are out and about. And we're gonna have our pink and black spiders for sale on our site soon. We have those. We don't have these guys on this site yet. All right.
right. We're going to sign off for now and thank Frank for his help and helping us set these up and, and everything. And we appreciate you guys coming. Oh. Joining us. Hello. Oh, are you saying bye? Yes, I'm okay. saying bye. Bye. All right, everybody. <laughs> oh boy. Hey, you guys want to say bye? Bye. Guys. Bye. bye. Thanks for tuning in.